Postman just came and my neighbors are fucking with the Keurig right now. This is our morning Friday meeting at my house. <laughs> This is the restaurant directly underneath my apartment. It's gonna be Mediterranean food. And the guys that built our cafe are also building it. Dude, you guys remember Tad. Apparently that's a fireplace. Oh. It's like a fish tank. Oh. Yo, coming at you live and direct. Yo, dang. this is it. Cat Cloud. Oh, snap. 2017. All of these boxes are going to Seattle to the La Marzocco Cafe. See you soon. Join them. Let me catch you guys. Oh my God, that is so Kenya right there. Oh, we looking fresh right there. Two days before we leave to Seattle and we're really getting ready to be gone. Alex, look at him, he's freaking doing every order on the face of the universe. Look at this guy, so many copies. <laughs> he's massaging that. You don't get this level anywhere else. I roasted what I think may be the best carotene ever, so I'm gonna make some EK shots with the HG1 and see what's cracking. That's a single Kenya Caratina EK shot. Big yield, <clears throat> 45, actually 47 grams out. Jason. Big time. Big time. Go Alex, thank you. I just want to sip. <laughs> swirl it, swirl it, swirl it, swirl it. Yeah, 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 yeah. First couple months I was kind of stressed out about a crowded roastery, but the <laughs> fucking energy's off the chain when everyone's in here, dude. <laughs> How many numbers did you crunch? So many. So many, dude. He crunched all of them. Today is a different kind of day in the roastery because we're selling enough coffee to move to a par system instead of roasting to order. So we're keeping small amounts of all the coffees on hand because it's just, just moving so fast, which is a good problem to have. So we're boosting up the levels of all the coffee. We're roasting extra coffee today to get the pars up high because with Jared and Charles and I gone in Seattle next week, the roaster is going to be basically down a person. So, getting it up there. But Jason and Alex, they're fine, they're fine. Also made this, which is the Magical Roastery Binder. This has the schedule for roasting, which tells you what to roast when, how many batches per hour you can do, maximum production capacity, when to vacuum out the chaff collector, and all that stuff. It seems a little nitpicky to put it all down on paper, but what it really does is it takes that aspect of the business out of the roaster's head so they can just focus on roasting coffee and all the other stuff is scripted for them so it makes it really easy to do really good quality work. Also got par sheets for stuff in the storage unit, things to order, vendors, where it all comes from, boxes, bags, etc. stuff like that. Production and fulfillment schedule for different weeks. Oh yeah, this is UPC stuff for later. I'm a big fan of being insanely organized and methodical and scripting out as much as you can to just free up mental energy. That's what that's all about. So what I gotta do now is I need to take a picture of this Pullman chisel redistribution tool for the website. And it's a little weird to photograph because from certain angles you can't actually tell what it is. So it's a redistribution tool. It's got like a matte finish handle. It's got this chisel style base. It's height adjustable if you unscrew this handle. This is threaded so you can move the height of the chisel up or down and lock it back in. Some people ask me to do a review between this and the OCD, which I probably will do in the future, but it might be a little bit biased because one, we sell these in the shop, so there's that, and then two, I have a first generation OCD, but they just came out with a new OCD, which is height adjustable, so if I compare the two, I wanna compare the newer generation of the OCD because it seems to be a little bit more similar to this. These are gonna go up soon. We're using them in the shop for a few months now, and and I like them. All right, I whipped up a banner and Illustrator and put it on the website and the chisels are live. My goal is to have these all sold before you even see this, but if you see this and you want one, you can go check it out anyway. And if we sell them all, we'll get more. So that's cool. Also, I like making banners. I'm not great at it, but I think it's fun. I'm gonna make another web banner because that's the kind of guy I am. Look at the intensity, the precision, the concentration. Look at that face. Tanner's maybe gonna write a book and I'm trying to convince him to do so. I'm gonna write a book. I have been sleeping on the gym for the last couple days and I'm feeling it. I gotta move, man.
the gym was legit. I didn't really want to go, but whenever I don't want to go to the gym and I actually go, I never regret exercising, gym, skateboarding, riding your bike, whatever. Motion just helps me so much, so I got that clarity. Today was awesome. We had a meeting in the roastery, and I say roastery, and we kind of call everything that's not in the cafe the roastery, but that's not really it. We've got the roastery proper, and Jason's roasting a lot of the coffee, but then we've also got what we'll call like a business development and a marketing with Alex. We had an awesome meeting going over goals for both poundage and wholesale, web sales, and just future tracking for employment. And I think those things are really important. I think it's really important for people to feel the sense of a journey that's happening and not just, okay, I come to work, clock in at eight, go home at four, and then every day is like the other. If you can feel like you're building towards something bigger and know what may be possible three months, six months, one year, two years down the line and see that, and if their goals and their dreams are aligned with your goals and your dreams, there's no reason you can't grow together, but I think it's really motivating. We're leaving day after tomorrow to go to Seattle and I feel really comfortable about where we are and I know that Jason and Alex are going to handle it and I know Jared feels the same way about the retail crew. And Charles can basically crunch numbers from anywhere so it's just no big deal. I got these ridiculous shoes to wear to work. I usually hate shoes like this. They look really dad style, but I needed something that I could wear for like 12 hours at a time and stand up in and would be just ridiculously comfortable. And I tried on a bunch of shoes and this is what we got. Jose, you can tell me if these are cool or not. I have no freaking clue. They're definitely not my style, but I'm gonna rock them.